In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom domains to your Link Tracker account so that you can have full, complete branding over your tracking links and tracking uh, campaigns. Again, this is for advanced use only, and by using the default domain names that we provide, uh, you pretty much be set up pretty okay for almost any kind of marketing you want to do. And adding a custom domain is additional work, additional technicality, but if you really want to do it, uh, the good news is in Link Tracker you can have as many custom domains as you want and use a different custom domain for all your projects. So for example, if you want to be tracking links of an affiliate product, you may want to register a separate domain for it. And use it for your affiliate products and for your own products you may want to have a domain that is part of your existing website okay so to get started with custom domains make sure that you are at your main dashboard where you can see an overview of all your projects next click on domains so what you would realize here is that we have several custom domains uh, the number of custom domains you can see in your account really depends on on your account and you can see I have one custom domain over here, which is using the C name format. All right, so if you look on your right, you can see that there are two methods of adding a new domain. And, and listen carefully to what I'm about to say. The easiest way is to use a script. With a script, all you have to do is download the script that we provide, upload it via FTP to the location uh, on your website, and then enter the exact path to that script over to that folder over here now this method allows you to add your own domain even if you are already using the domain for a wordpress blog or for a shopping cart or whatever and you can use a domain you can use the folder in the domain you can also use a subdomain for example sub.domain.com however using this method there are several drawbacks most importantly is you won't be able to use the cloaking feature in link tracker because what it does is basically just redirect traffic to one of the default domains over here now the other option is cname and this method is uh, allows you full customization and full branding and you'll be able to use all the cloaking or split testing features without any issues whatsoever with this option, however, you have to dedicate the entire domain to be used for your Link Tracker account. Therefore, it cannot coexist with an existing blog or existing anything on that domain. So, to get started with CNAME, uh, I will show you how to use a script in a different tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a CNAME. So, you can click on Read CNAME Guide over here, and you'll probably see a very useful guide on how to do the C name mapping in uh, Namecheap, which is one of the examples we give here, but you'll also see several other examples linking directly to the domain registrar's website that teach you how to do C name mapping. Okay, now let's get back to the domain that uh, the custom domain feature in Link Tracker. So, of course, first of all, what you need to do is identify the domain that you want to use. So in this example, in my Namecheap account, I have several domains and from the main dashboard here, I can click on the domain that I want to use. Okay, and then I can click on URL forwarding. Again, this only works if uh, the DNS server is pointing to the default Namecheap server or in other words, if you are not using this domain, uh, if you're not tied up this domain to any kind of web hosting account must be a completely empty domain okay click on URL forwarding and the settings is really easy all you need to do is remove whatever you see over here and just type in your username for link tracker dot link tracker dot com and do the same for the www version you're going to type in your username dot link tracker dot com select c name c name alias for both the at and www click on save changes okay now when this is done you can go back to your link tracker account add in Make sure you click on CNAME over here and add in the domain that you just uh, modified earlier. 
Okay, so you can type in Ashadi or you can type in your domain name without the www or you can also use www if you want to. Next, click on add domain. Okay, so the new domain has been added here using the CNAME method. You can delete it whenever you want to. Take note, however, that due to the processes involved in mapping the CNAME or pointing a CNAME to the link tracker account, it could take up to 24 hours for it to actually work. Okay, so don't rush into using this domain name until you have made sure that it works. To test if it's already working, you can just open in a new browser window, type in the domain name, and if you see that it points to your link tracker login page or your link tracker account, it means that it's working. Okay, in Namecheap, it works pretty fast, but in other domain registrars, it may take a little longer time. It all depends on if your registrar is actually a top level registrar or a reseller or a sub reseller, it goes many levels deep when it comes to domain name so if there are a sub 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 reseller then it will take longer and it's difficult for you to know uh, if they are actually a main a top level reseller or a sub reseller or whatever so you just need to give it some time now when your c name mapping has been completed and you, you when you type in the domain name it goes to a link tracker account then you can assign it to a project so go back to your dashboard now you can select the uh, project that you want to use the custom domain with. Okay, in this case, since this is a live account, I'm just going to uh, create a project. I'm going to add a new project. I'm going to call it test. Okay, and under tracking domain, this is where you assign your custom domain for this project. Again, make sure that this pro this domain name is already working and mapping correctly, or you may end up losing traffic if it's if this is an existing project that is already getting traffic. Okay, and click on create project. Now let's go to goals, and you will see that the goal conversion code. Okay, when you create a test goal. you notice that the goal conversion code is also using your custom domain. Now, this is very, very important, especially if you switch to using a custom domain in the middle of uh, your marketing campaigns when your links are already getting traffic. You have to replace the old conversion codes with a new one that is using your custom domain. And this is because of some technicality in browsers that don't accept um, cookies from third-party domains so your tracking link and your conversion codes have to be in the same domain okay and that's very important for me to mention so make sure that your tracking links and your conversion codes are using the same domain in order uh, for your conversions to actually be recorded and thirdly if you have selected to use uh, SSL security option if you turn this on then make sure that when you're using a custom domain, you use the standard code over here because the standard code has scripts, JavaScript, that allow us to capture the conversion Although even though you are using a custom domain. So when you're using a custom domain and you have turned on SSL security, make sure you use the standard code, not the pixel code or the pixel URL. So that's how easy it is to add a custom domain to Link Tracker using CNAME.